So, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Maria Perez. I'm in Gensler, uh, Gensler Architects. I've been in Gensler for 20 years now. And uh, my role at Gensler is an ambassador of the Gensler GC3 goals, the City Climate Challenge. We're trying to get all of our projects to net zero by 2030. That's a big challenge, so that's what I do every day, trying to get all of our projects to that level. Also, um, I'm involved with USGBC Texas chapter, and we have the executive director here today. Where are you, Jonathan? Executive director, uh, Jonathan. And if you guys want to know more about USGBC, please reach out to Jonathan or myself. I also have a lot of people from Gensler. I want to say thank you for coming and supporting. And then also I want to say thank you to Skanska. I was in this room, in the same room in 2019 with Jonathan when we were presenting the plaque ceremony for the first lead platinum project in the US. So super excited to be back now to do this event. Skanska is a leader uh, on sustainability and they're always ahead of the game when it comes down to sustainability. So uh, what is my topic? My topic today is about nature-based design. So in three minutes, I'm going to be talking to you about three main ideas that I have. Uh, the, the, we're going to start with what is the problem, and then after I present the problem, I'm going to present three solutions. And after I present the three solutions, I'm going to present three resources. I'm going to go fast with my accent. I apologize if some words might like, what is she saying? But at least the words are going, might be on the screen. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I'm ready. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go. So what is the problem? I picked this picture because that, that picture is really relating to what is happening right now. Uh, we have the human being at the top of the pyramid, and everything that is happening is because we believe we're the masters of the universe. We're not. We're not the masters of the universe. We need to start rethinking what we're doing. But we need to shift our thinking to being a more ecological and think about ecosystems. So if you see that picture, I think it says more than what I can say, but I think we have hope if we change our thinking. The first word I wanted to introduce is about biophilia. So biophilia is about that connection with nature. We want to be connected. We spend about 90% of our time indoors, and it's time for us to bring nature back in, 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 in the room that we're in. And the other thing with thinking about biophilia, we have to start opening up terraces and being able to show what that means. So the next uh, topic we have uh, about biophilia is that that connection is also going to happen with the second word. I'm not looking at the bioclimatic design. Any net zero project that you see right now, they're all following bioclimatic design. Bioclimatic design is about the connection with local um, climate conditions. And then also talks a little bit about how can you design the building. We use in Gensler what we call parametric design. The parametric design allows us to assess a little more how we're going to tackle that project to be able to take care of those local conditions. And then I have the other concept, which is called biomimicry. And biomimicry is a new concept that is about getting inspired by nature. This concept was introduced with the idea that we have to find that inspiration in nature. There is one project that I'm showing here that has a double facade. It's the first high rise that it can breathe. So the building is breathing. And when it's very hot outside, the building actually closes. What happened when that is that they open ventilation, so that breathing, having a breathable building, that's part of biomimicry. Now, the other thing, uh, asking nature, there is a resource uh, very good when we're thinking about biomimicry. What are the things that are happening in the market right now? And I will say the one thing to notice is the AI, the artificial intelligence is here. It's no reason why we can start introducing more biomimicry ideas. And I want to leave you with uh, three resources uh, currently in the market. Uh, the United Nations released 17 principles for sustainable development. If we were to start with those 17 in mind, we will be able to cure this planet. And the other thing you can see in the screen is another resource. They call it the living, uh, living planet. And I call it living planning because it's the living building challenge. It's a great resource. So if we want to take it to the next level, I think those are the best resources we're going to find in the market. So thank you. That was my, my big idea. <laughs>